the yen has been one of the strongest performers. Uh, when you take a look at the chart, what is it saying? Well, the chart's been trending down now for a few weeks. It's broken out from a long-term uh, wedge pattern. But it's not just the dollar, so it's not just a short-term story. It's been trending down the last couple of months. It's been one of the strongest G10 currencies. Also, if you look at, for instance, the Aussie yen, that has, it's coming right up. That's been trending lower now for a couple of months. That's coming up to a key support at 81.50. Canada yen as well is coming into key support level at 80.50. So there you have other things going on. And what's interesting here as well is the US, Australia, Canada, these economies, they have hikes priced in to their markets. So in theory, their currency should be strengthening against the yen, but they're not, they're weakening. So it looks like if the housing uh, correction that we're starting to see, certainly in Sydney, Toronto, you're seeing the same in central London as well. If that continues, then you'll see more selling of the currencies against the yen. And what happens then, it becomes an interest rate differential play, the currency moves. So the hikes that are priced in get taken out. And quite often the buying of the yen is a forewarning of certainly stress in the financial markets, and a risk off, as we call it. What levels in particular are you looking at and what do they suggest? Um, on the dollar, it's about 105.80, 105.60, but it's been trending lower now for several weeks. If you look at just the short-term moving averages, they're just trending lower. Um, it's broken out of a key wedge formation, as I say. The key levels, 81.50, Aussie yen, 80.50, Canada yen, it breaks below there. That's support levels from before. Then we have a clear downtrend.